Hello, everybody, and welcome. It's the Racing Biz, the racingbiz.com race of the week, video handicapping, our race of the week, joined by John Piazic, our Laurel Park handicapper for the racingbiz.com. And our race of the week is going to be race eight from Laurel on Saturday. It's a second level allowance, an allowance optional claimer, two other than with a claiming optional tag of $35,000. They're going to be, like, let's try that in English. They're going to be going five and a half furlongs on the main track. And John, let's talk for a minute about how you see this race shaping up and, and you know, what kind of pace scenario you see and how that might impact the outcome. Well, there's two dominant speed horses and a third who could join them on the front end. You got number two, Stroll Smokin' for the dangerous combo of John Robb and Xavier uh, Perez. He has gone in speed duels in each of his last three stars and in none of those last three, was he able to hang out for the win? He, he did bite on well last time. He had to stay similar feel, but did end up second by a length. And then the five, Karen's Notion is a speedball. He has won back-to-back stars in gate to wire style, including a win in, in the Maryland Williams front two stars back. In fact, I am most surprised he's in here. I figured um, that they might wait and go in in the Dave's friend stakes this weekend, but he is in against Allowance Company and has drawn a pretty tough opponent. So if you see it shake it up, and I, I tend to agree with you, I think those two are, are certainly speed horses, but I think uh, I think Carrie Times has shown speed. I mean, I, I there this could be a fast pace. Now, if anybody gets away here, and I know this isn't your top choice, but if anybody gets away, I think it's Karen's notion. He is really fast and really formful right now. He's gone straight to the lead against a field that included Lewis Field, who's a three other than kind of horse in the Maryland Million Sprint. Came right back and validated that. Got a 90 buyer winning, um, winning a, an A other than last time out. So I think if anybody gets away, Karen's notion might. Do you agree with that? I'm inclined to agree. His early pace figures are a little bit faster than those of Stroll Smoking last time. He he had an opening quarter of 22 and two fit seconds. A, a pretty fast time over this track where nobody, almost nobody ever goes um, sub 22. And his second quarter, a very fast 22 and one fifth seconds. He sped up in in the second quarter. So, so even if Stroll Smoking does challenge him in, say, the opening eight, I think there's a chance he could outrun him and draw a clear uh, turning for home. Now, if those two heated up and neither is able to stay on, or if they're joined by a third horse and nobody's able to stay on, we go to your top choice and my top choice, although they're different horses. Your top choice. My top choice is before Frank's gun is loaded. He is a, a bit of a leap of faith pick. He has had a very strange career. He is going second time out for Claudio Gonzalez, and this is the fourth different trainer he's raced under in just seven stars. He made his first start off a long layoff last time out at Parks, and it was not very good. He dwelt, and he was just pulled up um, not long after the wire. Since then, he has had a very good workout from the gate, and that was um, something I like to see every time a horse ha has a bad start, if they have a, a gate workout in between. And it was a good gate workout as well. He went uh, four furlongs in, in 47 and four fifths. That's a bullet drill. Um, over the winter at, at Aqueduct, he showed very good form. He, he won a nominal of one other than allowance handily, stalking the pace and drawing off. A mile and an eighth might have been a little too far for him last time out, but he did hang in for a, a solid third. Um, missing second by less than two lengths, it's all relevant. Who is a solid uh, horse up in New York, threw that field away. Uh, Frank Scott's loaded also earned a career top speed figure in, in that spot, went on the bench, but I think second time out, and hopefully he'll be able, be able to break from the gate stalk the pace, and if the uh, leaders stop, he'll be able to pick up the pieces. Now, I, I, everything you say, I, I agree with, except for this. I, the thing that concerns me about this horse is he has run, all of his wins are at a mile or beyond. The only time he ran less than a mile was his first start. You don't want to put too much stock in there, but the rest of his form suggests that what happened there could happen here, which is that he was outfooted early, and you know, ran on late, but too late. And so slight concern that Frank's gun is loaded, who, as you've pointed out, absolutely walked out of the gate last race. I, I went back and watched the replay and it's pretty much every horseman's worst nightmare. You just watch the horse and the field breaks and they're all gone 
and then here comes this other horse kind of do, 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 walking out of the gate. So he, that don't worry about that race at all. A little bit concerned about the distance question. And if that is a question, and it is for me, that pointed me in the direction of reform school, the Crystal Pickett trainee, two back, she was, or rather he was third to Lewis Field. He rallied nicely to get third in a, uh, in a three other than, now dropping in company to a two other than, so dropping one step. Sort of, interestingly enough, is a half to the multiple stakes winner, Shimmering Aspen, who won over $400,000. So, I, you know, I don't know, maybe not good enough, but might get the right setup here to, to show his his stuff to best effect. It's certainly possible. He's eight to one on one lot. I think he'll go off about those odds. A chance he could go off in, in double digits. Um, as you noted, he is kind of a stalking type. He actually used to be a, a front runner, but hasn't shown as much early speed as he has in the past. And in fact, his uh, past races have come at shorter distances. He battled on the lead and beat a decent field at Charlestown going four and a half. Uh, he ran his best recent race here at, at Lowell going five and a half. So he definitely likes it. The shorter, the better for him. And this race could play right in his hands. At least for an, an underneath spot, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see. You know, you, you get the decent odds and you hope for the best is, is kind of you're looking for value here. But uh, so John Piazza going four, five, three, one. I'm going one, five, four, two. That is our racingbiz.com race of the week for uh, uh, December 19th. And uh, you can check out the racingbiz.com every day of live racing for John's picks and analysis from Wall Park. Thanks for watching. Good luck, everybody.